Welcome to Growing Old. Soil or hydro? Well, we, we thought we'd throw something together uh, for some education, uh, soil versus hydro. Now, we're just going to talk in generalities here pretty much. I'm going to rely on your comments to uh, spice it up and, and, and help us out here. But, uh, you know, because there are tons of ways to grow in soil. I mean, the way I do it, you, just, you know, you can just plop it in the dirt. You can plop it in uh, some Fox Farm soil like I do. You got your living soil. Um, you can use cocoa. Uh, there are a lot of other ways. And the same thing with hydroponic. I mean, there's DWC, RDWC. Uh, there's the Hay Abbey. Hey, Roxanne. Um, and, and plenty of others. Heck, auto pots, they're kind of, uh, I call them a tweener because I'm growing in soil. But most of their nutrients are really coming from uh, the water that comes out of my tank. So, let's just get started. <clears throat> now, we'll start with uh, growing in soil. And, you know, we'll mention, the, we'll start with the, the pros, of course. And they say that uh, nutrient availability, you know, because the soil contains natural nutrients and minerals that can provide rich <clears throat> sources of nutrition for cannabis plants. It offers a complex ecosystem of micro microorganisms. You know, like, uh, it, it's like a little village in there, in, in, in your soil. And what they're gonna do is, um, they're just breaking down all the organic matter, and then it's releasing nutrients. And it takes a little while, but it's releasing nutrients over time into the soil, which then gets absorbed by your plants. The next thing that we've got listed down here as a pro is ease of use. Um, because soil cultivation is relatively straightforward. I mean, I get my soil, I put it in a pot, I plant something, and away I go. You know, I, can, I water it, you know, but it's, it's, it's more straightforward and less complex than uh, uh, maybe a hydroponic system. Uh, it's suitable for both novice and experienced, peop experienced growers. I know uh, I was always fascinated with a DWC system, but I just, I just didn't think that uh, my skill level was on par to, uh, to do it that well, you know. And soil, but the soil, you know, it's mimicking uh, natural growing conditions. You know, just like when we, when we put it out there in the greenhouse, uh, you got the sun, you know, and now we're just putting it in the soil, so that's all natural. And this, this is why, uh, you know, a lot of growers, they just grow in soil. Now, the third thing that we've put down here is natural flavor and aroma. Uh, a lot of people say that cannabis grown in soil, you know, it, uh, it develops unique flavors and aromas due to the interaction of the plant's roots with the organic material in the soil. You are what you eat. That's, that's basically what you're getting at there. Um, and because this interaction with that soil, you know, it can result in more authentic and flavorful uh, end product. You know, your buds will be fat, juicy, and tasty. Uh, and many, many growers, and let us know if you're one of those, many growers claim that the soil-grown cannabis tastes better. Now let's move on to some, some soil cons. Uh, Overwatering risk. That's the first one. And I can see that because that's, that's why I like to take and, and start them in a, start mine in a little peat pot, because then I can water it till the roots are big and it's pretty happy, and then I'll put it in that big, that big pot. Uh, later in the week, we'll probably go check out on the, check the autos out in the greenhouse, and they look about that big because they're in that big nine gallon pot. But easy to overwater because you're like, oh, I got to get it all watered. But uh, it, can, it can easily get away from you. Uh, 
this will lead to you know root root rot, uh, maybe some uh, other diseases. Uh, I think it invites uh, pests. So you know you want to be careful with uh, when you're when you're watering. Our second thing is slower growth, and we all want want it to be faster, but uh, soil cultivation results in uh, you know a slower growth compared to hydroponics. I mean, you stick it in the hydro, the hydro and it just works, but it results a little slower. Uh, it takes time for the nutrients, you know, to be broken down by your, your little village down there and uh, break it down and, and get those into the roots. And then this is gonna affect the overall grow rate. So our third thing that we've listed down here as a con uh, when growing in soil is difficulty in nutrient control. Now, I, I think when, when we put this down here, what we're looking at is a lot of people like to do that top feeding. You know, you'll put it in there and then you'll water, but you gotta give it time to, uh, to work its way through there. It's gotta be broken down by the little village, you know, down there, all your microorganisms in order for it to get in there. Um, it can be challenging. Uh, to precisely control it. And you can wind up with imbalances or deficiencies may arise. Uh, now you're gonna have to monitor your plant. You're gonna have to adjust just to maintain your optimal, uh, optimal plant health. Now, the pros of hydroponic are precise nutrient control. We just talked about nutrient control up in the top. And down here, we talk about precise nutrient control. Now, being an old guy, and I was scared of like DWNC and, and the hydro world because of adding the, the, the nutrients. But uh, in hydroponics, if, if, if you use it, then you can directly provide the plants exactly what they want. You can dial that thing in. Um, <clears throat> it enables you to tailor, that's the word I was looking for, tailor the composition of your nutrients to the specific needs of your plant. And then, you know, you're gonna get your optimal your optimal growth and bigger yields. Now, the second thing I got written down here is faster growth and higher yields. Now, we've all heard it, and I'm hoping some of you DWC guys or RDWC guys can come in here, um, but hydroponically grown cannabis plants, uh, they grow a lot faster compared to soil grown plants, but that's because they're getting the nutrients right now, okay? In the soil, eh, I'm walking through the, walking through the, the grocery store picking them up. Here, you're just in a fast in, in hydro. You're just in a fast food place, eating away. And in a controlled environment, it's readily available for the nutrients, contributes to your accelerated growth, faster harvest. Um, I've read where you can shave up to two weeks off of the vegetative stage. So, any of you guys out there? Hey, if you know, uh, be sure to chime in. And our third and last thing here for, for pros for hydro is water efficiency. Um, they sit in water, so I'm not, I'm not pouring a lot of water in and then a lot of it's running off. You know, they're designed to be highly efficient. And then like in, uh, I believe it's RDWC, um, <clears throat> the recirculating nature uh, allows for water, you know, conservation because it's recirculating, freshen, uh, reduce water consumption compared to the traditional soil-based cultivation. Okay, so let's start with the cons. And our first, our first con is, is a complex setup. Um, hydroponic systems, they require more intricate setup, specialized equipment. It makes it a little more involved and costly. You know, compared to soil. I buy a bag of soil, I got a pot, I'm good. Um, but you're gonna need some knowledge and understanding of hydroponic principles if uh, you're looking to be successful in the implementation of that. Our second thing here is nutrient monitoring and pH control. When I first started growing, and that's probably another reason why I didn't go with uh, a DWC or some kind of hydroponic system is because I thought I had to pH it. And you'd pH up, you'd pH down. And by the time you get done, you're either dumping all of it out or you got so many chemicals in there, it's like, yeah, it's a waste. But nutrient monitoring and 
pH control, that's a little difficult because you got to balance um, the nutrients and the pH level in the hydroponics. And it's crucial because uh, you're, you're just looking at, you know, an, an event happening if you don't do that. Whereas in uh, our next one, that just segues right into our next one here uh, that I see is less forgiving. And what I was getting back, getting at there was, you know, I try to adjust it, but if I don't get it right, I'm in trouble. Because the third one, and that's the big one for me, was the less forgiving. See, it's not like soil. Soil, I can put a lot of stuff in there and it'll break it down, maybe clear it out. But uh, hydroponic systems, oh, they're way less forgiving when it comes to mistakes and errors. So if it was me, I would say you'd want to be a little more advanced. But these young guys today, I mean, they can jump on that and start right up. But uh, any, any issues with uh, nutrient levels, pH fluctuations, uh, system malfunction, you know, these can all have immediate and pronounced, I'm talking that fast, impact on plant health and overall yield. So that's what we have written down for pros and cons. What do you have written down for pros and cons? Why do you grow the way you grow? What we need is some living soil, you know, you build the soil, guys. Some cocoa, DWC, RDWC. Hey, Abby, you know, give us some feedback and, and, and let us know uh, your, your pros and cons and your thoughts on everything. So again, I would just like to say thank you to all of our subscribers and viewers. We couldn't do it without you. Much love. healing call we